recently I lost one of my family member. This is one of my favorite drinks ever. It's Holix. I don't know if I have it. I don't know if we have it in the US, but God, I love this. And I'm pretty sure it's dairy. And I'm not supposed to eat or drink or consume, but it's so good. That's my grandma's food. Hey guys, so something stupid happened. Um, I accidentally deleted my uh, clips from earlier today while I was filming my Nike versus Adidas video, but okay. So today I, so basically this the clip that I just showed you, it's me getting my spine decompressed. I kind of have like an injury and with me having scoliosis, it just didn't make things better for my back. So I had an MRI and then I'm going through treatment, slowly improving, still hurts, but totally fine. Um, I've been trying to contact Cheapo Air and Qatar Airways about my flight ticket back to Chicago. I also recorded on how upset I was to find out about the um, ICE, ICE's announcement about basically deporting international students if our school has to be online. Which I think it's ridiculous. And of course, I think they mentioned something about Trump, but of course Trump wants something like that, which is really dumb. Face we see. Four percent only? I literally charged this camera. But hi. Hello. Where are we going today? We're going to live Yes, we are. Which is, we're actually late. But that's fine. Great. Um, it's gonna be a lot. Yep. Yeah. But look at this. Hey, Tari and Tay Eyes. Uh uh. So we have the food right over here. You can take it. This video, this vlog did not turn out the way I thought it would be, but recently I lost one of my family member and it kind of threw me off mentally and emotionally with everything that's going on. So a little bit of update about the ice situation. Um, I think they pulled back on that. I'm just gonna leave some articles up here. So in terms of the international student stuff, it's like, it's kind of, it's sorted out on its own in a way. So I'm really thankful for that. But what happened the last couple of days is, it was, it was kind of weird. So, um, a couple of days ago, I spent some time with an old childhood friend we haven't met in so long. And I would say this person is, you know, pretty significant in my life back then. Um, we went to our old neighborhood and it brought up some old feelings, good and bad. And at that moment, I felt like, I felt like I was in like a time loop or something. It was really weird. Um, a good kind of weird. And then I got a call from my aunt saying that, you, you know, something's gonna happen. Like we think this family, the, our late family member is, um, is about to go so we ended um we ended early i 
Um, I got there as, as quick as I can. She left. She left us. And it's basically the first time that I have to deal with the funeral. Like, making sure, you know, she was presentable before we could um, let the mosque, the people from the mosque, take over. It, it made me feel, once I got back home, it made me feel like a lot of emotions, you know? Like, I believe, I, I'm pretty spiritual. Uh, more spiritual than religious. And I feel like the universe talks to me in, in a certain way, like God connects with me in a certain way. And that day was just so draining to me. Um, I wasn't that close to that family member of ours, but we definitely had a relationship, of course. And I'm just tired. Like, I feel so emotionally and mentally tired. You know, with the pandemic and everything is going on. And I know I'm not alone. That's why I want to talk about this with you guys. It's just like, it's exhausting. We're at the time where it's like, it's it's just freaking exhausting. Um. So yeah, Um. after that day, it made me think about how, how I see it. You know, go visiting my old childhood friend in our neighborhood, and then and then experiencing death within the family. It just made me feel like I need to leave. But with the pandemic, with the pandemic, and with our, you know, like the racism out here, with the social issues and all this kind of stuff, you know, it, it just. My family just does not want me to go for a lot of reasons. Like I said, um, most of it is the pandemic, Black Lives Matter. You know, they're, they're so afraid that it might impact me and affect me somehow in my health because of my spine. But I see it in a way where the universe gave me a moment, like a couple of moments to make me realize like, hey, If, to me, how I feel, it's like if you play it safe, you'll be stuck in a time loop. And death is symbolic to me. Death has a lot of meaning. And to me, death is the starting of a new beginning. And I feel like I need to start my beginning, but it seems so scary. And I'm, I don't want to say I'm slowly starting to doubt my gut. I'm, I like to think I'm a very intuitive person. I follow my gut. You know, it takes me to weird ass places and weird ass situations, <laughs> but I follow my gut. But with my family and when friends freaking out about me traveling, it's just, it's just exhausting. It's exhausting hearing it because I know how crazy I sound half of the time when I tell them like, no, I need to go. I need to go back to the US. And it's just also exhausting having to defend myself because I mean, not a lot of people believe in themselves. Not a lot of people trust their gut. And I don't want to be that person. I don't want to live by someone else's opinion and perception. Like, I get it. It's to play it safe and everything. So it's just like, basically, I am I feel like mentally, I'm just drained. <laughs> I'm just drained, dude. And I just want to talk about it with you guys. I mean, if you guys relate, let me know video um it's gonna be vlogs for a while i hope you guys don't mind that thank you for the people who subscribe to my channel because of the conscious consumer series i really appreciate you guys i will see you guys next week if you guys are as exhausted as i am yo we're doing our best as long as we're aiming to be a better human, that's all that matters, I feel. And I'm trying to be a better human for myself, for others, for the environment, but sometimes it's just like, you just wanna stay home in your bed and just sleep. All right, guys, see you next week. Let's try to be a better human and take care.